doing? This is V Diamond in the Rough. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, leave me a comment. Let me know you're new. Let me know it's the first time you visited. If it, you're not new but you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Um, yeah, you know, it's nice. And of course, I hit the bell. Now, what I'm working on today is the Squishy Gel from Sophie and Toffee, which came out of the June Gamalicious Elves box. I am using the squishy gel, which is from the regular box items, but I am using the bunny molds, the premium add-on molds, 3D molds. I'm going to attempt to make all four. Hopefully there's enough product there, it should be. What I've got is the hamster. There is a rabbit, which is really easy to see him. There is a seal. Um, there we go. And a panda. No, I think that one's a chipmunk. We'll know when they come out. So I'm going to measure these by weight. Um, I'll pull out my trusty weight, my measures. Move these guys to the side and we'll so, go. So here we go, equal measurements, equal parts. I'm looking to get about 40 mils. I'm using quite a bit of this. Next step is I'm actually going to do some white, but I'm going to actually turn one. Uh, I'm going to do one brown. Okay, so I'm going to even these out. I know that I need to get this one here. And about that. How I, know, the, I will let you know that what I did do when I tested these guys out, I poured water in to work out roughly how much colour I'm going to need. So here we go. So that's white. I'm going to let that sit for a bit. This one. This one I'm going to try and turn a brown. I have white which I'll put into the big mold. That's the hamster, that's the rabbit. So the big mold is the panda. By putting him white, the plan is with him being white, he will be easier to paint. Just wanna there we go. We'll give that one a little bit of a poke. Now it's the hamster. The hamster and the seal. I want to try and get them to brown and they are smaller. Do the seal first. Seal probably should be black. Okay. Okay, well there wasn't enough of the hamster. 
that's okay because what I'm just going to do is if I pour this in I'll give a little bit of a mix around that will give them a little bit of different texture and then the last one which is the rabbit <coughs> which I will do clear and I still have some left over this didn't do that one so these molds I will let these sit for 24 hours I'll come back to you with a nice clean desk and uh, we will demold them um, okay 24 hours has gone by I can so they are sticky they are sticky and you can see that but they're not coming off my finger so I'm gonna give this one a go at pulling the seal out and see how we go I've not seen these done by anybody yet so um, hang on I'm just going to try with uh, one of my little tools to slide that in to try and separate it. Okay. <laughs> it's not like you. It's not. It's not like using all the other molds. So how do I get that out? How funny is this? Look at this. Hang on. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see that. And basically, I'm squeezing it and squishing up. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so let's see if I can just need to get in and get peel it off at the first point. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, well, it feels funny. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, can you see that? Okay, hang on. Um, I'm going to have to put them on something. <laughs> that is so cute. Put it on the L's box. Just a bit like that. That's so cool. Okay. But I've got no residue happening on me. But it is sticky. It is really funny. Really funny. Next. So this one I believe is the, I think like this one was the hamster. And it is, it is a case of just getting that first little bit of air and then it, just, it comes off. I, I, What's happened to his eyes? I've actually left some of his eyes behind by the look of that. Okay, so the clear. This was the rabbit. So what it takes is once you get an air break in it, and it's just a case of peeling it. <laughs> oh. Look 
I love the look of that just without just without the without painting in. Wow, okay. <laughs> now this one is the big panda. So I'm actually gonna try and pull him out that way. See how we go with the sort of faces. So you see how it's just a case of it's it's just roll it basically rolling him out. He's easier. But can you see his little face? Okay. Now I'm questioning whether I did this the right thing in it. So let's open this up. So this is the villain's box. Okay. So that's still slimy. I'm gonna seal that one up a bit again. That's still slimy. I'm not quite sure why, but I'll seal that one up. I'll come back to that one later on. Ick. Yeah, you really do. You can tell if it's set or not. So what we've got, I will show you the moles. The See how the ears got caught? I would say if I had it pulled in from the face, it probably would have been better. The seal came out clean. The rabbit looks like it came out clean, but he was clear. And the panda, he came out clean. So I'm just going to get something to put these guys on and um, get back to you. Okay, guys, what I did thought I'd add in here is just I put them on a, on a tray so you can have a better look. Um, put them on a zoom so you can have a proper look at these little little cuties before they get painted and when the camera decides to focus on the eyes hang on <laughs> look at that face okay so that's the panda little tail there and already even though I've only just taken out of this mold I've got fluff on them so then, the seal. Look at that base. Excuse my nails. Close up of nails are never pretty. So yeah, there we go, the seal. Then we have the hamster. Hang on, if I can bring them up. There we go. The hamster. How cute. Little tail. <laughs> and then the rabbit. Just, I, I, I love the rabbit just because even in the clear whoops and he just fell off need a little cotton tail okay back to your video hang on Let's see if we can squeeze hamster cheeks. They are, they are. The <laughs> um, keep an eye out for these guys. I might do it. I might add a little bit of something to them later on. I do like them just like that. Then because I did it brown, all I need to really do is the face and the cheeks and the ears. The bunny rabbit though, he is just he's gonna fall <laughs> he is just adorable but yet again you know squishy I wonder one thing that probably would be nice to do is give it a go with um, some do a clear but with glitter in it okay that's that'll be a 
true test of but yeah I wish I'd actually thought of that to put glitter in but the clear is just beautiful the camera is not folk there we go <gasps> look at that Let's see if I can get the camera to do the same for the panda we get the panda up there nice and close I don't know if you can see there we go the panda face They just need to get up close and personal. Look at that face. Is it going to come up? Come on, focus, 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 focus. There we go. Look at that little face. Okay, so there we go, guys. That's the squishies. That's. <laughs> without them being um, painted and obviously just out of the mold so they're still they feel sticky but they're they're not but they'll we'll get better they will that that feeling will go I will leave that there um, I actually will pop these on here I, oh, I know I said don't put them on there so I'll leave them there um, hopefully you like that don't know what happened with this one but I'll put that aside if you see it later you'll see it later so guys I will say thank you for watching I hopefully you enjoyed the squishies I actually yeah I love them I absolutely love them I probably do a clear one uh, I would probably do a clear one with um, some glitter inside or some embellishments and they would look absolutely stunning um, what do you think guys give it a go would you give it a go that's a good question what would you do different I'm happy I made these brown I'm happy I made the panda white because I can all I'll have to do is paint some black onto him and that is adorable that rabbit that is a rabbit it's beautiful uh, guys so thank you very much for watching uh, if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button Hit the bell to be notified when I do uploads. I do crafts. At the moment though, I tend to be doing some like daily whipping chats or some daily vlogs on what's going on. Well, not quite daily, but of what's going on in my life and finding out what everybody else is doing. Just while we're in the position where all this mail is backlogged and waiting to come. So I've got, I've got stuff on order, but can't help the posting because for you guys that have seen the unboxing of the Gummy Licious box, I still have February, March, and May box to come. So, um, hence why there's not many unboxings. But I will say thank you for watching and uh, keep, keep, uh, keep visiting my uh, videos. And uh, bye for now.